I don't know where I am. Hi guys, uh, I bet you're wondering why my room looks different, and that's because um, I, I I don't know, I'm lost. I, I got on a bus, and now I'm here, so I don't know what happened. Just kidding, that would be horrifying. I am in my new apartment. I just got married, right? So, <laughs> yay. I got married and I moved out and now I'm in my new apartment here and uh, and it's been a crazy whirlwind, but uh, now I'm here and I'm ready to make some videos. Uh, yeah. Look at all the excitement and adventure. I have a dog and marshmallows, but no marshmallow dog. Sadly. Today I want to talk about something that is a much more real struggle than what next lens uh, will help your photography improve or what uh, animal you want your next camera strap to resemble. That's my problem. <laughs> I like whales. And that is your ability to feel comfortable and less shy around people when you photograph them. So two areas of importance. I'm coming at this from the perspective of a street photographer who takes photos, who takes portraits of people on the street. So I know a good, healthy, awkward situation. Have you ever had an awkward handshake with a Santa Claus? I thought not. As I've mentioned before, I am an introvert, so I can analyze a social situation until my brain falls out my freaking ears. And that was point number two. I forgot to say point number two. That's point number two. So let me just say to the people out there who characterize yourself as shy or identify with that, uh, this is not about being unauthentic with yourself. This is about growing new characteristics into who you are. Your characteristic pocket, if you will. Or frocket. Let's go with frocket. Frockets are more inviting and exciting and sexual. It's like, hey, there, there's a nipple in there. You might be able to get to it. You might not. But there's the mystery, you know? <laughs> so I want the overarching point for this video to be let's feel strange let's say it together let's feel in fact let's say it strangely let's feel strange okay say it like that see that was very strange you looked very weird and and very awkward and i would avoid you on the street so to unpack that i would encourage you to find whatever characteristics you want to grow and practice them whenever you're out on the street uh, you're probably shy in these situations because you're used to being shy. And that's, that's really how it is. It's a comfort level thing. So if you're like me, it, there's this thick internal tension whenever you challenge one of the, the, the comfortable norms of who you are. And it's, it's very hard uh, and it's paralyzing. It's very paralyzing. Um, but the way to do that is to practice pushing yourself um it's, it's 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 the same idea as if as me right now speaking to you if i want to sound more exciting yay and i don't and i i'm not used to sounding more exciting i'm gonna come off like hi this is this is james's photography video and i, I want to teach you how to be more approachable when you're on the street talking to strangers number one Smile. Here's another way to look at it. Uh, singers, right? Singers on stage um, once had a day where they did not want to get on stage. They, When they thought about singing in front of people, they wanted to vomit in a corner or on themselves. Either one. It's whatever you prefer, really. I prefer to not vomit on myself because there's a cleanup process and then you, it's like you could vomit and then go sing and it would be fine. But if you're singing with vomit on your shirt, everybody's like, what's going on? He's got vomit on his shirt. Is this some kind of weird artsy hipster crap that people are into now vomiting on themselves? Um, hot dog chunks, you know? <laughs> Let's move on. Point is, there was a day where singers felt very uncomfortable singing in front of people. Um, and, and the only way that they moved past that was to sing to get up in front of the people, push themselves through the uncomfortability and, and the the paralyzingness and and just do it and and um put in and challenge yourself to show yourself what you're made of in a sense. Every singer went through that and it took them a long time to get 
from there to here, which leads me to the next point because I'm amazing at transitions. Long term, think long term. If you are focusing in the moment as far as is as, as making progress, it's very easy to focus in the moment um, because your your emotions are in the moment. You're sitting there going, I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to speak to this person. He has a beard and he might hit me. Becoming less and less shy is, an, is a behavioral change that takes time. So you have to remember, you're not going to see any change after the first three, 10 times even that you, you do this. But, but slowly you're going to see um, a, a new characteristic emerge from you and you'll, you'll become better and better and better at what you do. <clears throat> and you'll get to a point where you look back and it, it'll just be this subtle thing. One day you'll be thinking about it um, and you'll go, wow, I've come a long way and I can, and I can do this and it's, it's, it's easy for me now. But I remember that when this was the hardest thing in the world for me. I still struggle with that. <laughs> I still struggle with that right now. We, we all have those things, but I think I can speak to any situation in life and saying that it's about focusing long term and pushing yourself to grow as a person. And one day you're going to look back and you're going to feel very accomplished and very, very happy that you did not um, fall into the fear and, and that you did what you, you knew you wanted to do. So now I want to focus on people who have inspired me in this process. And uh, first, one person who has actually inspired me in making this, uh, in, in, in the direction of this video. Um, and his name is Sean McCabe. I've talked about him before. He is somebody who focuses on teaching people how to make a living doing what they love. Uh, I cannot re recommend, re I cannot recommend him more. Uh, he's excellent. I listen to his podcast every day. I listen to like, st like I'll listen to the same podcast like five times in a week because he hasn't come out with the next one yet. It's so good. He made a video called What If My Voice Sounds Bad? And it has nothing to do with street photography, but it is a perfect illustration of what I've been talking about today. And I definitely drew a lot of um, inspiration from that. Second, Eric Kim. Uh, he is a street photographer, and I've followed him for a while. He's one of the biggest street photographers of this this era, in my opinion. Uh, and he has put out a lot of content about uh, becoming a better street photographer. He does seminars, things like that. But he wrote an ebook called 31 Days to Overcome Your Fear of Shooting Street Photography. Now, I haven't read this whole book. I don't read a lot. <laughs> but from what I can tell, it is an excellent next step for anybody who is struggling with any kind of fear in street photography. It's it's a deep uh, study of overcoming uh, fear in street photography and he looks at it from many different angles. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a great next step for anybody who's seriously struggling with this or just wants to grow in street photography period or just wants to learn. I like to learn. Hey, I watched the Magic School Bus and you know I didn't learn anything, so I was like, hey, I'm going to shift over to Spongebob, and Spongebob, he changed my life. I now know who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob Squarepants. This is getting out of hand. Thank you guys for watching. Have a lovely day. Go be productive. I'm going to go find a horse to ride. You look like a horse. You look close enough to a horse. Can I ride you? Can I ride you, Cooper? Yay! He bit me. I now know who lives under a pineapple. <laughs>